Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to apply through Culver Stockton College's website to become an accelerated candidate for the Masters of Athletic Training. If you are a prospective student uh, in the high school setting and are getting ready to start your bachelor's degree and have an interest in the Masters of Athletic Training, please follow the following steps to apply for the accelerated route to the Masters of Athletic Training if that's your desired interest. Go to the Future Students button and select Apply. From this screen, we will apply now. And we'll begin our application. Go ahead and fill out your personal information, biographical information, and contact information. But the important thing that we need to remember right now for, for applying to the Masters of Athletic Training as an accelerated candidate is enrollment information. Go ahead and select your year of enrollment. In this case, we'll select 2019-2020. We're going to begin in the fall session, and your interest type is a full-time student. Now, here's the important parts for making sure that you can select the Masters of Athletic Training Accelerator route. As your intended major, you must select Health Science. Currently, Health Science is the only route in which a student can, can pursue the Accelerated Masters of Athletic Training. In that, you'll choose from two of the specialization tracks. Health Promotion is more of a fitness and wellness based uh, track, and Rehabilitation Science is more for those individuals that have an interest in athletic training and or physical therapy and has a much heavier sciences focus uh, in the laboratory sciences like chemistry and physics. We'll pick Health Promotion. Either one is acceptable for pursuing the Masters of Athletic Training. Please read the following. So if you're interested in the Master of Athletic Training route, there are two accelerated routes. Accelerated means that you complete both your, your bachelor's and master's degree in five years. You do three years of undergraduate coursework in health science, then you'll start your master's uh, degree work in what would have traditionally been your senior year in the undergraduate degree. Once you complete your, uh, your first year of your master's program, those hours are credited back towards your bachelor's of science and health science, at which time you will complete your four-year undergraduate degree in BS. After the completion of the, the second year of the master's of athletic training, you, you would then complete your MAT degree, thus graduating with both of the bachelor's of science and health science and a master's of athletic training in five years. There are two routes, direct admission. Direct admission means that once you apply, as long as you meet the criteria, you are guaranteed your seat in the Masters of Athletic Training cohort in that fourth year of your, of your education. If you choose the accelerated admission route, meaning you do not meet one of the direct admission criteria, but you still have an interest in completing your degree, two degrees in five years, it does not guarantee your seat and it still is a professional entrance and you would reapply to the Masters of Athletic Training your junior year. However, as a Culver Stockton student, you will be given priority consideration for enrollment and you will be guaranteed an interview for the professional program. So direct admission is for individuals with 3.5 GPA, 25 ACT or equivalent, and 50 hours of athletic training observation prior to enrollment in the Bachelors of Science. It's important to note here that if you do have a 3.5 and a 25 ACT, but you have not completed your athletic training observation hours, you can still apply as a direct admission candidate. You just need to complete your AT observation hours and verify those with the program director of the Masters of Athletic Trainer Training prior to enrollment in your Bachelors of Science degree. You also, again, can select the accelerated admission and this is for individuals that maybe you're missing one of the three criteria above. However, again, and remember that you are still given prim uh, primary consideration or priority consideration for enrollment in the Master of the Athletic Training, which you'll do upon your, uh, at the end of your junior year, and it can still enroll in what would have been your senior year and your undergraduate degree. So we will select one of those two down here. We'll select the accelerated admission process, and at that point in time, your information will be forwarded to uh, the program director of the Masters of Athletic Training, and they can be in contact with you and give you more uh, instructions on how to uh, continue to pursue the Masters of Athletic Training as a health science student. 
go ahead and fill out the remainder of your, your enrollment information as well as your financial aid, family, and activities information, and then make sure you finish and hit submit. If you have any questions at any time uh, as it relates to either the health science degree or the master's of athletic training, do not hesitate to contact your counselor or contact uh, the program director of the master's of athletic training, uh, and they can answer your questions in regards to pursuing your professional degree as an athletic trainer. Thank you for your time. And this concludes the tutorial on how to apply on the accelerated route for the Masters of Athletic Training.